my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. The love of God and the mercy of God is countless and marvelous for all his children. God has created each one of us with a special purpose and plan. When we all obey his commandments with faith, we will understand and feel his wonderful presence and protection for each one of us. And we will also have the fruits of the Holy Spirit God. The readings of the day gives us a beautiful message which we should apply to our lives and live our lives according to his commandments. The world today is not able to recognize and feel that all that we have is a gift of God. The creation of God is given for us to cherish and keep it for future generations in a precious way. When we look at the present situation, many people are finding difficulty to meet their family members, friends, relatives and dear and near ones. Some people have gone into depression. Some people are feeling helpless and many other people are depending on human support and advice. But at the end of the day, we all again feel the disappointment and helpless situation in our lives. Because the human person cannot give us the fruits of the Holy Spirit God, wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. In the world today, we are all lacking these precious and most important values. That is the reason we are trying to see the advice and we are trying to depend on the human person. First of all, the human person cannot give us the precious and valuable fruits of the Holy Spirit God. The person can only treat and advise according to his study and spe specialization. But when we depend on God and His guidance, we will surely experience the fruits of the Holy Spirit God. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. These are the most precious gifts and which we have to cherish as the fruits of the Holy Spirit God in our lives. Because every human person is in search of these fruits of the Holy Spirit God. If we all ask a question to ourselves, where do we find and we get these precious fruits of the Holy Spirit God? As we have seen in the Gospel passage, all the disciples were fearful and they were all frightened of the Jewish and gathered together in a closed room. And Jesus Christ appeared to all of them except Thomas, who was not with them, and said to them, Peace be with you, and breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. This experience really gives them joy and brings a lot of courage and strength to proclaim to the world the resurrection of Jesus Christ and his wonderful deeds for the people that he had done according to the scriptures. When the disciples shared this experience with the Thomas, that they had seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, Unless I see the marks of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the marks of the nails and my hand in his side, 
I will not believe. After eight days, a week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. All the doors were shut. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. When he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen me and have come to believe. In the world, there are many doubting Thomases asking for proof, signs, questioning, challenging and blaspheming and doing all kinds of things by depending on, on the human persons. That is why they are really finding hard to come out of the darkness of life. But the real peace is only possible when we all obey his commandments and live according to his laws by having faith in the Son of God. We all will experience the fruits of the Holy Spirit God and we all will have the abundance of divine mercy and countless blessings of God in our families, societies and in the world. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, as we all celebrating the Divine Mercy Sunday, let us ask for His mercy, His blessings, His guidance and His light. The world may be forgiven with His graces and blessings. Let every family be blessed. Let your children be blessed. And this world may have the mercies of God. We trust in you, Jesus. We believe in you. You are the Son of God. May the Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.